An old Austrian proverb says that a donkey who is happy goes and skates on the thin ice. And well, if yours truly is uh, whatever, he buys some new stuff. And namely, this time I bought a professional drill grinder from a company based in Luxembourg called Proxon. And uh, in this video, I want to unbox it with you together first. And then secondarily, I want to talk over why I bought it and why I bought this one and not a Dremel one instead. Well, well, as you see here, this is what I got delivered from my cellar. And one very interesting thing here, there's a red cable tie, which you must cut open. And only then you can remove this sleeve from the actual carrying case. On the inside of the sleeve, there's nothing. But one thing which is important, you see here, it says 230 volt. I'm bringing it close. This is not a flex power power tool. So you must be careful to get one which is suitable for your area or otherwise you'll get all kinds of problems also with the motor control. And either way, here you see that's the box we get. And now we can try to open it. It's actually quite solid. And you see here, this is it in its beauty. So what do we see here inside the box? We see here on the back, we get an advertising for all kinds of add-ons for the utility. And then here we have the actual stuff. So, well, here, first things first, we've got a little ad for the other Proxon products. And we've got a decent manual along with some security precautions, as you see here. And the language is multinational in both cases. And then here we already see the actual drilling thingy which is here and we also see some additional blades and here a set of tools. And the interesting thing about this is that you see there are some spare holes here. So if you have some additional material which you buy, you can fit it right in there. And this probably normally sits here, yes. And another interesting thing is, you see, you can also remove this, for example, if you want to put it on your desk. And then here we have a set of chucks, where interestingly, in my case, one chuck wasn't delivered, the 2.4 is missing. And then we have a small support tool as well. So, and now that we have the box sorted, we also see here the actual tool. It's about half a kilogram in weight. Here in the front it's metallic and you see you hold it like that. And I've picked an IBS-E. So I have this power plug, which I have to plug in somewhere. If you would pick another model, you would get battery power instead, but that is not interesting for me because of the applications, which we will discuss shortly. But before, a quick look at the control panel. You see here, you can set the RPM from 5000 to 20,000. And here you've got an on-off switch and a hook which is ideal if you have a tool wall, because you can just hang the thing from the tool wall then, such as what I do in my lab. And the second important thing here in the front, the tool attaching thing, you see this is this, you have to screw it off like this so you can see it. And then here we also find the one missing collet. And either way, the actual construction here in the front, you see it's all metal. Normally you grab such a thing, you ram it in there, and then this goes on top. And from what I have in my hand here right now, at least to me, the whole thing looks pretty damn solid. 
And here at the bottom, we find something incredibly nifty. This thing, normally, you see, you can push it in if this is in the right angle. And if you push it in, it blocks this on the front to make opening and closing the collet easier. And you see, it goes right through the axle, so you need to have the right point to be able to push the pin all the way through. I mean, I know this is not the biggest problem in the world, but at least for somebody like me who sometimes does has a tremor, this really makes handling the things easier, because in the worst case, I have my wife push the button, and then I grab a tongue or something and open it. And yes, in terms of grip quality, this here on top, it's rubber, so you can also hold it like this. It's more comfortable. And essentially, this is a quick tour of the tools which we got. But just for completeness sake, here, once again, a close-up view of the various tools which are included in the package. And yes, this thing here and this thing here, they are both drill bits, because some people combine this IBS with some kind of a lathe press, and then you can basically drill like you can with a normal drilling station. And for my woodworking friends, here you see you get these various tools. These seem to be more solid, whereas these are just thin, little, more or less sandpaper thingies, which you can also attach to the IBS to grind and sand down things. <coughs> so, now the question remains, why I felt the urge to add this thing to my life? Well, the answer for that actually is threefold. First of all, you see here, I have my own bunker, and in an awful lot of time when you are the landlord of your own bunker, you find yourself filing and drilling things. And this kind of thing really makes life easier. And as you see here on Amazon, it actually isn't that expensive. And secondarily, also because one of my consulting customers, she uses all kinds of advanced materials. And this is one area where a tool like this Proxon IBS can really help you. You can even strip paint off of steel with it, for example. I mean, it's a tool where basically, if you have it, the applications will be found for it. But now, of course, the question remains, I mean, my shirt is blue, why didn't I buy a Dremel? Well, for this, I'll be honest, I'm not the greatest woodworker, mechanical worker, I'm a process computer jockey, mainly. But the reason why I picked this one and not the Dremel essentially is because I've talked with friends and I've had my ears open. And generally, people report that the people from Luxembourg treat their customers better than the people from Western Germany. And this is an impression which I can, in general, from my life experience as an Austrian, confirm. Robert Bosch is such a huge company that practically you don't know if they run the German government or if the German government runs them. And you see it, if you have a problem with a Bosch product, it happened to me twice, they literally, they just kick you in the butt and then they pretend you fell over on your own. Whereas these people, at least it's what I've heard, give you significantly better customer support. But of course, this benefit of better customer support also is a disadvantage. If you are in Timbuktu, on the top of a volcano, at the bottom of the volcano, there is likely to be a little shop which sells Dremel accessories. Whereas in the case of Proxon, finding the accessories is not so easy. I know here in Hungary, I don't know of a single shop which sells it. In Slovakia, I know of one which is incidentally near the main railway station and where I also used to live. And of course, there's Amazon. So this is the advantages and the disadvantages of the two brands. I hope that I'll never need customer service, of course. The green, petrol green bag looks great. 
And so I hope that I've been able to give you a little impression of the reasons why I purchased this one. And just for honesty's sake, I paid for this out of my own money. It was my cigar budget for the month, but I'm not getting to the cigar shop anyways, so the money had to go somewhere. And uh, if anybody of you has a Dremo and wants me to unbox and look at the Dremo, you can lend it to me, I'll give it back. But that's that. Now it's your turn and thank you very much as always for sticking around. And please also follow me on Instagram because there's much more content on Instagram than there's on YouTube. And with that, thank you very much and Tamhana out.